Next is from Namibia. Come on, Nime, please proceed. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, as my name has been mentioned by Pastor Mwemba, my name is Kirsti Hamunime from Namibia. It's a very far country. Um, I'm representing Home Health Education Service, whereby we sell books to schools, hospitals, churches, and to other institutions, also to people individual. Today, the books that I'm going to introduce to you is Young Men and Young Women for Teenage Sexuality. We know in our country, in our world, sex is everywhere. It is being spoken, be it on televisions, in medias, newspapers, everywhere, it's just sex. Does sex has impact in our lives if we don't tell our children or if we don't talk to our teenagers? When you look, at, when you look around yourself, you see to it that our children, our teenagers, we find some got pregnant at the early age. 13, 14, 15. What is the disadvantage for sex before marriage? How do we help our children? How do we help our teenagers to know about sex? God created men and the woman. And what does the church talk about uh, sex. How do you understand sex in your community? Does it have any impact? Is it a common like uh, food in your community? Here we are going to talk a few things about sex. The advice that we have, we are going to give about our children. Young men and young women are the books that are written by Jonathan and Anna. And these are guidings of young men and young women, teenage sexuality. So, how is sex being discussed in your community? I repeat my question. As we know, children, they must know that if a child, if a teenager is a female, or if he is a male, he must know his, he, sh, he or she must know his qualities. That I am a, a male, and I am a, a female, I have to know the quality of my body. No one can touch my body wherever that person wants to touch. Let me have limits from my body. We used to see children in streets, boys and girls holding each other, boys holding each other, whereby it can also cause homosexuality, and the girls holding each other, that can cause lesbians. It is not wrong for boys and girls to hold one another but it has got limits to their bodies. It is not wrong for men to hold one another, but it has got limits. Another thing is, if we don't become open to talk about sex in our children, at the end of the day, we will regret, and we are going to pay a heavy price which is going to be rape cases, pregnancies, abortion, and uh, many more other disadvantage, uh, disadvantages about sex. What does the church teach us about sex? Does the church talk about sex? 
in some other institutions, also in some other religions or uh, cultural, sex is a taboo. By talking about sex, it's a taboo. So if we don't talk it, we are going to pay a heavy price. And what does God say? I'm going to read in the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 3. What does Paul say? He says, in these last days, some people will appear who lives are controlled by their own lusts. The message that we get from magazines is that you're supposed to have sex with your boyfriend. Because if a teenage don't allow to have sex with a boyfriend in a community, in worldly things, then you lose the value amongst your friends. If you, got, if, you have, if, you, if you allow to have sex, then if, which means you have a passport that now you are a girlfriend or you are a boyfriend. These books, Young Men and Young Women, it tells us that we must teach our children the values and norms on how should they behave in the community, in churches, in schools. The, in school, there's a, 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 a lesson or a subject that, say, that talks about life skills. I mean, a, a subject that talks life skill. And the, that life skill, it is where we can find sex education. And how does the, edu uh, the education or the government applies that subject to our children? And how does the churches apply that education to our children. I remember there was a time when I attended a workshop. I was working with um, an organization called Tusano, and uh, we had a workshop with one church, and uh, apparently uh, one reverend was given to conduct the Bible study about sex and sexuality. She just read a verse from the Bible. She read Genesis chapter 2. After she finished reading verse 4, then she said, this is the end of our Bible study. So we never learned anything from sex and sexuality, to know the difference between sex and sexuality. So in these books, I'll give you a testimony on how did these books change someone's life. There was a young boy, his father is a teacher, he's a retired teacher in fact. And this young boy, by that time he was ten, turning 18, uh, 16 years and he was in grade 10. The boy started hitting, beating others and he was doing cruel things, raping, trying to, to rape other children. Then the father fed up. The boy left the school. He was dismissed from the school. And he sent him to the cattle post. I came to that school, and I spoke to the father. The father told me. Then I said, I have this book. Maybe it is going to help him. Can't you buy this book for your son? Then the father asked, how much is the book? Then I said, it's 338 Namibian dollars. I'm talking now because I'm from Namibia. I cannot say rents. 338 Namibian dollars. Then the father started crying. Then I said, we'll pray together. This book will help your son. After a few months, the son came. He went to, to their church, to their congregation, and he found the pastor, the reverend, at their church. Then the reverend said, can I help you? The boy said, yes, I came for forgiveness. Then he said, what did you do? No, 
I used to be cruel, I used to be violent. What happened? No, my, and who told you? My father gave me this book. It's this book now. Young men. And when the pastor read that book, he called the father. The father gave him my phone number and the pastor called me. I had a presentation with them in their congregation and the, most of the parents, they liked the book. So this book can change our children's lives, our teenagers' lives, for them to behave well. My last comment from these books, this book cannot cost you a lot of money, whereby you can take your child to the social workers and imagine how much are you going to pay. And at the end of the day, you will find yourself either getting sick just because of your son, or maybe because you have finished your money by paying the social workers, rather than having your own book and become your, your, your own social worker. Be it to your neighbor or in your family, to a friend or to your own children. So these books, they have value. A value because when it comes to the word of God, each chapter, it gives verses from the Bible that can give you courage to keep on going. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm going to be speaking on the book, two books, Young Woman and Young Man. Uh, if you can bear with us, because our team, we are not fully exposed to the book. So in the canvas, especially, we are going to measure on using personality as a way of canvassing. And then we're going to use most of the information from the product knowledge seminar that we had yesterday. The background of the book, Young Men and Young Women. The authors, um, Jonathan and Arthur Gallagher, who have vast experience because they have a degree in theology and sciences as well. They are also engaged in family and marriage counseling. And um, to note is that they are parents to teenagers and of interest, they have been teenagers before. So definitely they know what a teenage life is about. The truth of the matter is um, teenagers are getting more and more involved in sexual activity. And at, a, at an early stage, actually. And why, one may wonder. It is because of the media. You know, teenage life can be so stressful. There is the media, the television, there is peer pressure. There are institutions who want to feed you information, parents' expectations. All that is the pressure on, um, on a teenager. And um, actually, there are various sources of information that come to bombard the teenage life. How can we then help the teenager to learn more about their self and exactly what is the truth about their sexuality? This is what um, young women and young men is about. The books are designed specifically, one, young men for, for the young men, for the males, and young women for the females. The young man is blue and the young woman is pink. There are typical things that are um, highlighted on the cover of the books that include perfumes, car keys, shaving machines. The manufacturers of these products, actually they're in business and they sell this to young men and young women and they feel, feel good about it. But the question to ponder about that is, is that all? Is that all about being a young woman and a, or a young man? These illustrations tend to ask a question, a thought-provoking question in the minds of the teenagers. Is this all about life? The illustrations that are in the book are relevant to the information that is being provided in the book. For example, on page 72, we have a bouquet of flowers and chocolates. These are gifts that a young man would give to a young woman. And um, the question again would be, what is that young man getting in return for those um, bouquet of flowers and the chocolates? Could it be unplanned pregnancy, pain, abortion, premarital sex? Or sometimes life is ruined because of the choices that the teenager makes. So the illustrations work hand in hand with the text that is there. It has also an expanded index on page 182 of young women 
which shows you how to locate um, subtopics for easier studying. It also uses colorful illustrations uh, from of di and different font types of printing. The reason is because teenagers don't want things that are boring. If it gets boring, they'll just put it aside. But the way young women and young men is designed is to capture the interest of the teenagers. And then one interesting thing is that we have messages from the life coach, that is the Bible. We do have Bible verses in both the books, young women and um, young men, to give uh, spiritual guidance to the teenagers. The, chapter is laid out, the chapters are laid out in such a way that the teenagers are explained about what is sexuality and what is sex, the physical uh, makeup of the bodies, what the world says about, the, about sexuality, what the Bible says about sexuality, and how does all this affect me as a teenager. There are also activities that the teenagers can engage in and fill in and answer questions that are given in those activity sections. 12 chapters for young women and 13 chapters for young men. And they have an average of 179 pages, which is not too long for a teenager that gets bored easily. The practical benefits of uh, young women and young men. Number one, it teaches the teenager to learn to abstain from sex and sexual activities until it is appropriate to do so in marriage. Number two, it empowers the teenager to see the value of himself and his body, thus enabling him to behave accordingly. Number three, it teaches the parent or the guardian to understand the world that exists around the teenager's life and to know when to intervene and how to do so. Number four, it puts sexuality in its rightful position, being a gift from God. Number five, it gives hope and healing to those who have made mistakes in their teenage life. Who's that? <laughs> May I come in, please? Come in. What do you want? Uh, good morning. Good morning. My name is Elijah. That's my uncle. I'm from Home Health Education Service. What? Home Health Education Services. We are an international organization, <laughs> and we are visiting families with the, the home and the family education. May okay. I just briefly visit you? Before you, you, you can say anything, yes. sit down. Okay. A man no, was, was not supposed to stand in my house. Thank you so much. So sit down, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for welcoming me into your house. And uh, your house looks so nice. You have looked after your home. Yes, I'm a hard worker. What do you think of that? <laughs> and I've come to talk about the home, but it looks like I will have to learn a few lessons from you. How do you manage to organize your home so nicely? It's because my husband is rich. He's got money. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, do your children also help you uh, to look after your house? Pardon? Your children. Are your children also assisting you? Have you shown them so that oh, they can help you? Oh, don't say something about my children. Oh, yes. yeah. I've got a boy yeah. and a girl. Yes. Oh, they are giving me tough time. Is it? They don't help me in this house. Yes. I even chase them away of this house. I'm so sorry to hear that. You'll be happy to learn that Home Health Education Service mm. has prepared material to assist you with your children. Are you, is your son having a girlfriend? Yes, a lot. A lot of girlfriends? Yes. Tomorrow is this one, today is this one. That's why I'm drifting away from the house. You can't take it. I can't take it anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. It's not you alone. Many parents are having the same problem. Really? In fact, I just met another mother, and she wondered if she's the one who gave birth to her daughter. Hmm. Mm, 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 she mm, couldn't mm. believe this is her child. Mm. When the child comes home, it's like they are competing in the house. You know why this is like this? Yes. It's because our grandparents used to take our children 
to a traditional school. Today, you come with this education, education. It doesn't yes. help us. Oh, is it? Really? Yes. So what do you think we should do? I don't know. Perhaps you, you, will, bring, you will bring the solution to me. Yes. Uh, today, I would like to ask you a question. Um, right now, you said your child is not at home. Mm. What, where do you think the child is? What could be happening to the child? Perhaps my child is in the tavern. In the tavern? Yes. Maybe with a woman? Yes, with uh, those women, yes. Yes, I'm of the opinion you've done your best as a mother to talk to your child and uh, introduce them to how to deal with the problems which are related to sexuality because that's mm. one of the biggest problems. And the problem is when you drive on the road, the billboards, they are showing naked women. You know, you know when you look at the magazines, it's all about people, when they sell products, it's about sexuality. The posters, the TV, everywhere. So our children are bombarded with sexuality. When they go to school, when they go to school, other kids, they have got boyfriends and girlfriends. And the child gets confused. Wait. You know what? I think the solution yes. is to take these children to a traditional school. Yes. Because you know what? Yes. My grandparents yes. taught me that. Yes. I, we as parents, we yes. cannot tell uh, children about sex. Yes. So they must go and learn it from a traditional school. I don't think this book of yours will help me. Do you have a traditional school around? Yes. Where? In, the, uh, in the jungle. In the jungle. Yes. Okay. Okay. And you, I can see you have got a lot of confidence in your traditional teachers. Yes. Because yes. my forefathers used to tell me about this. Yes. Yes. You know, from the way you are talking, I can see you are a person who has also been to these modern schools. And you are comparing modern education and with the previous education. Am I right? Yes, you are right. Yes. Yes. So I would like to tell you, um, we things have changed. That is the problem. The problem is not you. The problem is not your children. Okay. Neither is it the school. Mm. It is times which I have changed. Mm. And we have to come up with new ways in which to introduce our children. Uh, let me ask you something. Uh, did you see your daughter with a red perfume? Yes. You know what? Yeah. Almost every two weeks. Yes. She asked me that we must go and buy this a perfume. perfume. Yes. And we, we, we can nail paint. Yes. Uh, lipsticks. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, I'm buying this because I was thinking that these things yes. will bring her back. Yes. Uh, and you're they will change her character. And each other day she asks you to take her to the saloon. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know what? You know how much is a Brazilian? Yes. 7,500. 7,500. I've taken out that money. Yes. But all is in vain. And she can't wear our school uh, shoes. She has to wear these. Yes. I, 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 yes. I, and she's just 13 years. Yes. Just imagine. I've tried everything. Yes. But it doesn't work. Are the things she's using something similar to this? Yes, yes, she's using this. And yeah. the, the perfumes are so expensive. Is it? Mm. But uh, they are expensive. So where do you think she gets the other money? Which uh, I'm always asking myself, because one day there mm. was a car here in front, ne? Yes. and there was a, a, a big man in that car. I think that man is buying him perfumes. The man is buying. Uh, and when he buys the perfume, what uh, does he get? I'm so, you know what? I, I'm sure it's going to lead my child to sex. Is it? Yes. You've gotten it right. This is why home health education service 
after doing a thorough research on the things you have talked about, they have prepared a manual which shows you mm -hmm. so that you can dec discover mm -hmm. the level of knowledge mm -hmm. of your child mm -hmm. on sexuality. Mm -hmm. By just looking at the dressing, mm -hmm. you compare, this is the pocket money you give the child to school, mm -hmm. but the way they are living oh. is not comparable to the small pocket. You know, you give your child money to go and buy stationery. Mm. They buy things to attract men. So tell me, what is the solution? You will be happy to know we need to educate our children. Mm. The moment your daughter mm. comes to realize mm. the value of our life, mm. the value of our body, mm. and the purpose mm. which God created your daughter to mm. fulfill, mm. your daughter will change. Oh, you know what? Yes. I think you are God sent. Yes. For so many years, I've been suffering with these children. Yes. I think God yes. has sent you in this house. Now, let me tell you mm. quickly. Okay. Uh, what we have, mm. we have a manual here which from the way we have talked, mm. before you give it to your daughter, mm. you need to read it. Okay, I'm definitely going to do that. Yes, so you need to read it and understand. This mm. manual mm. is going to help you to understand modern ways mm. of teaching children about sex and sexuality. Okay. Okay? Mm. The child will understand who they are. Mm. They will understand their body. Mm. They will understand um, what sex really is because they, they don't understand when they get involved into mm. it. Mm. And they will understand mm. how to deal with the pressure. Mm. Uh, how to deal with the pressure. Mm. Okay. Hey, thank you. You know what? I'm paying this, this, this book and I'm going to give you extra money. You are a solution to my house.